Welcome, it's Wednesday, it's Theme Park News Day, it's Dispatch. And first up, Energylandia has decided it would be a good idea to build another roller coaster. Wow! <laughs> Energylandia, Poland's largest and maybe the world's largest theme park, mm, will debut a new roller coaster in 2023, bringing the park's total coaster count to 20 by the time it opens. What other theme park has 20 roller coasters? Just Six Flags Magic Mountain in California, which currently holds the title for the most roller coasters in a single park. Sadly, that record will seemingly not last much longer. On average, Energylandia has constructed two roller coasters a year since 2017. Perhaps 2024 will see the park debut their 21st coaster, taking the title once and for all. What is Energylandia's new roller coaster, you ask? Well, for a long time, it's been rumoured that the park plans to debut a Vacoma Tilt Coaster, a legacy roller coaster model which sees the track at the top of the lift tilt tilt from horizontal to vertical before allowing guests to plunge through the rest of the layout. Surprisingly, we know a decent bit about what to expect from this new ride. It'll measure 45 meters, 148 feet high, reach top speeds of 85 kilometers per hour, 53 miles per hour, and will feature a twisted vertical drop, multiple inversions, and several moments of airtime. The roller coaster is being built by Vacoma, who debuted their first tilt coaster back in 2002. It'll be interesting to see how far the design has come since then. Vacoma isn't the only one changing roller coaster models though. Intamin have recently released some videos on their YouTube channel showcasing their newly enhanced multi-dimension coaster model. Currently, multiple of these rides exist, the first being 13 at Alton Towers, the WOD's first roller coaster to feature a vertical drop track element. Alongside this element, Intamin are offering a multitude of other experiences for guests, and this includes a uh, teeter-totter seesaw element, a side drop, a, uh, and an edge tilt section. These elements can be used alongside trains that can rotate on demand, allowing parks to create immersive and unique experiences. We've seen more rides feature drop track elements in recent years, so perhaps it was only a matter of time before Intamin offered more variations. In other news, Hershey Park is retheming their Vacoma Boomerang Coaster. In 2022, the park plans to debut Jolly Rancher Remix, a revitalized boomerang ride with music, lights, and sense for a unique sensory experience. The park plans to have five randomized flavor rides built into the roller coaster, including watermelon and green apple. I mean, whatever that means. Mixed, a new flat ride will also be constructed surrounding the coaster, providing something fresh to the area. Mixed is a nebulas ride built by Zamperla, which sees guests rotate around other riders. Tokyo Disney Resort has announced that a combined 800 million people have visited Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea since their debut in 1983 and 2001 respectively. Kenji Yoshada, president of Oriental Land Co. Limited, the company that owns the park, thanked the countless guests who have visited the resort so far. He added that the parks will continue to evolve with the debut of their new Toy Story themed hotel and Fantasy Springs area. Tokyo Disney Sea will see its eighth port debut in a few years, which will feature three lands inspired by Frozen, Peter Pan, and Tangled. Very interesting. Over in Florida, the world's first fully dedicated Peppa Pig theme park has opened to guests. The new theme park is open next to Legoland Florida, acting as a separate second gate theme park to the Legoland Resort. Rides include family roller coaster called Daddy Pig's Roller Coaster, Peppa Pig's Balloon Ride, Granddad Dog's Pirate Boat Ride, and Grampy Rabbit's Dinosaur Adventure. Although the park will eventually be one-upped. Merlin and Hasbro plan to view the world's first standalone Peppa Pig Resort in China in 2024. And finally, Leviathan, not the one at Canada's Wonderland, the new wooden roller coaster coming to SeaWorld Australia, has an opening date. The all new wooden attraction built by the Gravity Group will open on the 3rd of September 2022. Like many rides, the roller coaster was originally intended to open in late 2020, but naturally this got pushed back. Mm, I wonder why. Leviathan is also being joined by another new ride, 
Trident, a Starflyer-esque attraction which allows guests to soar 42 meters, 138 feet above the park, which is also set to debut on the same day. And there you go, another episode of Dispatch ticked off and another Wednesday successfully completed. Now, I'm going to go and cancel my plans to visit Six Flags Magic Mountain because why visit the park with the world's second most roller coasters when I can just wait for Energylandia to build another small children's coaster instead? See, you've got to use your brain to save both money and time.